my YouTube channel. My name is Asia Renee, and this is Vlogmas Day 2. So today we got something out of the norm going on today. Why, why won't you say it, babe? What's going on? <laughs> I made the adult decision to get a vasectomy. For males, it's a lot less invasive than it is for women. It and is. And it's like, why can't I do it? You know, it's just easy. Really quick little procedure. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Just a little snip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, some men be like, no, I ain't doing that, I ain't doing... Before I was like that, but you know, I did some some thinking, some growing, and some more thinking, and growing, and discussion, and, and yeah, that's what me and my wife decided. I didn't tell him to get a protective. No, that's not, I'm not saying you told me <laughs> Don't to, be out there like, oh, Asia, how dare you? I Look. It was your decision, right? Look, set the record straight. Set the record straight. Let them know, baby. Yeah, I made the decision on my own. Okay, you know, his body, I was the his one, choice. You know, yeah, I was the one brought it up. Uh -huh. You know that. I was shocked. I was interested in in getting one, and it went from me being interested to, oh yeah, we about to get it. You know, so <laughs> literally, <yeah. laughs> he like yeah, because he said it so many times before, and it just goes in one ear and out the other. But this time it was like yeah, I did this, I scheduled this, I scheduled that, and then it was like yeah, it's next week. I'm like, oh, you serious? Like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, you serious? So I will always support him. He's making a big yeah. step for our family. Like it's just it's crazy. So if you out there, you don't got a vasectomy. You cool, no? <laughs> but how do you feel? Cause like this is kind of this is ending our chapter as parents essentially. Like we'll never be procreating again. Like, I mean, I'm a. <laughs> does your I'll, heart hurt a little bit? My yeah, heart it's, hurts it's a little a, bit, y'all. Racing a little bit because I'm nervous. You know, as as a normal person would, you know, be nervous. But yeah. It's like all positive thoughts. Really. It's not anything negative. So I mean, it's more so of I Aww. feel like I'm nervous because of. You know the the positive thoughts. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not like I'm not, I'm not nervous for a bad reason. You're good nervous. Yeah, like I don't know how to explain it. It's like I feel like I made the right decision, the right choice for you know the family. Yeah, you know? that's good then. Yeah. So it's just yeah. I definitely feel like this is the right decision for us too as well. But a part of me still feels like. Like, you know what I mean? Like a part of me feels like, dang, so like that's really it. Like I always know like this was it for us. Well, me, I know you never always really felt like that, but I've always known like this was it for us. And, but like you going through this, is kind of like, dang, so that's really it. Like, and I, I keep having moments and thoughts or conversations with myself and I'm like, you for real, Asia? Cause you gotta tell, if you're not, you need to tell them right now to stop. You gotta tell them, don't cut them, don't cut them. I'm running in, <laughs> don't sniff it. But like I, every part of me is just like, every time I have that conversation with myself, every part of me is like, absolutely, I'm okay with this. Yeah. Our family is complete. We have four beautiful girls. I am content. I, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, I was initially nervous because I didn't want to do it and then be like, I want another. Yeah, that was always his concern. And, he's, and, you said and, that for a while though. Yeah. You've always wanted one, but he's always like thought that like, I was going to regret, but. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of part of what I'm feeling now. Like, man, what if I go in here as soon as I come out and she be like, I want to try again. <laughs> what? I, I don't mean, think which, that'll happen. Yeah, which, you know, based off of my research and, and stuff like that, it's but with, within the time of me getting the vasectomy up to like, I want to say three months, I could be wrong. You can get it reversed and stuff? Not that you can get it reversed, but I can still, you know. You can still make a baby. Yeah. Nervous because of that reason. And then like nervous because it's like, dang, after all these years, we're finally doing it, you know? Yeah. So, it's time for him to actually go inside, guys. We're literally sitting in the parking lot, so. <laughs> He's gonna go in and do it. Right. Okay. Oh, one last walk. <laughs> he ain't gonna be walking inside. Hold on, let's get his walk, y'all. Fucking like he got that thing still. <laughs> so long. Smash the like button right now if I should tell him I, I want kids the minute he come out of this vasectomy. Should I do it? Should I do it? Oh, I'm feeling a little raunchy. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that to him. I'm not gonna do that to him. That's just cruel. I feel like he, he, that was that's already like his biggest fear. 
he's wanted a vasectomy for a couple of years but he's just always been scared that i personally will want more kids because like even though i see my bonus daughters as you know my daughters biologically i only gave birth to two kids i think sometimes he worries that i will still want more kids but your girl is good when i tell y'all we gonna have to talk later but what i tell y'all i'm good like i ain't no ain't no heavy feelings on my heart no but uh it's bittersweet for me because i feel like i'm closing a book of a chapter of our life like we're solidifying that this is done we're no longer baby making we're just parenting now like we're raising kids together now like i'll never see another tiny baby and be able to look at it and say i'm your mama <laughs> which i'm okay with it's just like dang are you sure asia yes i'm definitely sure but on the other hand it's just like crazy that i get to see my kids grow into something just beautiful without not to say that a baby like takes away from those moments but like i feel like and i'm not I'm, I'm gonna try not to cry but whenever i talk about my kids i get a little emotional but i feel like whenever it came to like those grand moments with aria i was kind of too wrapped up with leah if that makes sense because a baby you have to kind of tend to more than like a toddler who can get dressed who can say that they hungry who can make their own cup or drink you know what i mean and i feel like when it came to some of the moments that were like oh wow like i celebrated them and i felt them dear, near and dear to my heart but i feel like i wasn't really as present as i would have liked to be because i had to go through the postpartum depression with another infant if that makes sense and it's just crazy that i no longer have to do that anymore so it makes me very excited to see what's in the future for my kids what because it's just like i know they're gonna blossom into something magnificent like mark my words they are showstoppers i oh my god they're so amazing and it's just Yeah, we're just gonna stop here because the girl ain't for the cry. <laughs> Wait, y'all. I can actually see him. And we're waving at each other. Let's see if I can get him on camera. You see him waving? <laughs> can you see him, y'all? <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh. I want to peek to see if I can see the whole procedure. I see stuff happening, y'all. I don't know what the happening, but it looks like something happening. I think that should close the blinds over the way, sir. What's happening? <laughs> okay, guys, so I moved over to the driver's seat because I actually saw through the window. I'm a peeping Tom, y'all. I'm a peeping Tom. I actually saw through the window that he's done. So I'm trying to wait for him to get out so we can get his walk because. Oh, there you go, there you go. Does he walk the same? Does he look the same? Does he look different? Oh, he's walking pretty normal. Oh, he got a man that man. It's giving him base. Hey, humbug. <laughs> oh, look at him, y'all. He's smiling. That's a man with a plan for our future. <laughs> How was it, babe? <laughs> oh, you smiling. That's good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. Like, it wasn't that bad. Really? Minus, you know, the, you know, the initial start of it. It was a couple times I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> Did it hurt? What it felt like pinching? It was like it felt like a, a stick and then you could feel like the pulling. Oh my god. But you stuff, walk it normal. Yeah, it feels normal right now, I think, because my my stuff numb. Oh. But I can tell, you know, I got gauze and stuff down there right now. Uh-huh. I saw I could tell the minute he was done. Is that him? Is he leaving? Yeah, that's him. He leaving with a name? We found out you was his last. <laughs> He's currently icing right now, guys. Icing the icing the precious, precious the jewels. The scrotum. <laughs> so he got his paper and he got nine things on it. Number one is ice several times a day. Cause I guess you gotta keep it cold or something. He can't exercise. He can't pick up the kids. He can't do none of that crazy heavy lifting, exercisey type of things. He can only shower in the morning. And if he wears some underwear, he gotta wear jock straps 
or what are them tidy whities them, them tight briefs that's what he has to do number four take your antibiotics take your meds apply gauze over the incision did they give you some gauze uh or we gotta go get some we probably gotta go get some and number five is remember that you're still fertile so you it's telling you like don't think you just can't not have a baby now you got about like four to five weeks four to six weeks he has a follow-up like next week or so to like get his his part your sperm count no that that one is a follow-up from the you know. to see how the incision yeah. is doing okay and then number six is you can have sexual intercourse in five days but if it's still hurting then don't do it in the interest of safety do not drive if you do that's on you and then call if there's like any swelling or excess bleeding and stuff and then that's it it's not that bad no it's not <laughs> i feel like they give you a little bit more when uh you give birth and stuff i feel like the thing the paper be so big when you give birth it's like over they hand you so many papers when you give birth y'all it's so overwhelming like and then after you have your first one and you have a second one, they kind of don't even really explain things. They'd be like, oh, you had a baby before? Okay, so it's just a standard procedure. You're like, hold on, it's been a couple of years. But yeah, so we're actually going to go ahead and go. Where we going, baby? We going home? I think yeah. he wants to go home and rest. Okay, so we're going to go home and go. Okay, so we have made it back home. We've been home for a minute, but I had to wait for the kids to go to bed for this particular part. Now, my man got a vasectomy. He did the ultimate sacrifice for us as a crew. So I got a little something weighing on him, and he don't know what it is, and you won't know what it is. I'm going to just surprise everybody together. So let me go get him, and then I'm going to get y'all, and then we go see together. <laughs> okay. I have him. He has a <laughs> he has a blindfold on, so I'm gonna guide him into the room. Well, I'm slow, babe, because I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit him down at the bench right here. Where? Here you go. It's right, right here, baby. <laughs> on the you you gonna lift it up and you gonna see what it is. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 oh, <you're kidding. laughs> Sorry about your nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you got? You uh, got your what cheese the nips. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Your sore dong. <laughs> Your severed <laughs> Twinkie. What the heck? <laughs> There's some more in there, man. Look at the little shape of those. <laughs> <laughs> Your little swimmers. Yo, what the heck? That's my card. <laughs> I got a little nut on it, look. What the heck? <laughs> and then here's your, here's your sweets, because I know you love something sweet when you're having a rough day. What the what? <laughs> <laughs> snip, snip, hooray. <laughs> it's a celebration. <laughs> but what? also a care package because you need some loving. What the heck? You need some Dadville Busted Balls. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. And these are all real things too. So like it's not fake. You can actually use it. That's actually Advil. What the heck? Wiener sporing. Goodbye, nutty buddies. I said that I did not really know what to pick out for your card. Nothing seems right in there. So I got a card that said, like, nothing seems right for this occasion. Because, <laughs> like, what do you get somebody when they get a vasectomy? I wanted to celebrate it, but then also, you know, take care of you. So I did a little bit of both. I just got it. Hmm? I just got the thing done. I knew you was going to get your vasectomy for a while. It's been in the calendar for about, like, two weeks, babe. I've been planning. I'm a planner. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. You being so supportive. And everything is celebratory with you. <laughs> it's like, man, what? <laughs> Whole little box. <laughs> it's the yeah. end. It's, the, it's our final chapter of being parents. It has to be celebrated. It's just me and you now after the kids move away. Farewell, fishies. Thanks, Wade. Look at you. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But how do you feel? I, don't know, I feel like 
it wore off, right? He's walking a little funny now. I was more nervous than I, than I told him. Than I thought I was. So, I don't feel no resentment. You don't? Mm -hmm. Me neither. I feel good, actually. So I think we made the right decision. Well, yeah. I know we made the right decision. Yeah, we did. Yeah. As long as you don't change your mind here in a few years. Man. Hey, man, let's I try it in. No. Oh, I don't want more kids. I'm, I'm good. I don't want any more kids. You got time. I'm cool. I am okay. <laughs> I know, baby. I'm okay. <laughs> Not I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Trust me, I know. You know? Yeah, how I know. You, how you know? You done said it enough. I'm done, y'all. I just want to see, like, it's only up from here. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go back. So I think yeah. we made, I know we made the right decision. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, sorry about your balls. <laughs> Snip, snip, hooray. <laughs> I always knew I was going to do this if you actually did go through with a vasectomy. I just didn't really, I really didn't think you was going to go through with it. Not nothing against you. I just really didn't think you was going to get a vasectomy. <laughs> what? And then you got one on like on a random Tuesday. It was out of nowhere. Like it was just a warm, sunny day. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to snip my balls. <laughs> And I'm like, what? Okay, babe, yeah. Because I usually just do that with you. Like, okay, babe, yeah. And then next week, I'm going to stick my balls. I'm like, okay, babe, yeah. And then you're like, my balls are playing next week. I'm like, wait a minute, you did us? <laughs> like, oh, you for real? You for real? I'm not going to You for real? <laughs> I did not think you was going to do it. Because how many times have you said it before? Like, oh, I did da 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 I done, da, I done, you know, I done seen you watch the videos. I done seen, you know, do your research a thousand times. So I didn't think this is like any different from the typical. I was just like, oh, he's watching his videos. But like, you were just, the pace on this one was super quick. I really didn't think anything was going to happen until it was like the week of. I'm like, that's all I'm like, so you going you gonna, to you gonna go through with it? Thank <laughs> you. You going to go through? Okay, guys. Yeah, Trying to check and stuff. I'm just... Just making sure it's a go. And then, even when we got in the parking lot, you just like, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm like, damn, he did us. <laughs> he for real. Man. That is a man with a plan for our future. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. That was just something to show my appreciation for my husband because he made a very, very, very big and permanent step for our family so I just wanted to let them know that I care and it's a milestone so you already know when it comes to milestones we're celebrating them and I thought he needed a little extra care and a little laughter you know a little jokey joke to bust his balls <laughs> <laughs> so with that <laughs> so with that being said that's it for this vlogmas video like comment and subscribe and always keep it cute bye